No, this title is not a joke or a meme. I am completely serious. Please hear me out. When Minecraft was first released all the way back, it was something unlike anything people had ever experienced before. Yeah, Notch didn't invent the wheel. The individual components, placing blocks, exploration, and crafting weren't invented by Minecraft. But Minecraft did what no other game at the time had done before, and combined them together into an experience. Minecraft was born, and it was lightning in a bottle. Notch found the perfect formula for a game, and the unique aesthetic helped to set it apart from other games of that era. It was a game that became known for its creativity, its boundless freedom, and its endless possibilities. Minecraft was something people fell in love with. But that was 15 years ago, and like all relations that aren't nurtured, things changed. Minecraft is dying, Mojang cancelled Firefly's mob votes, why Minecraft is no longer fun anymore, Minecraft Java vs Bedrock, caves and cliffs split into two, two week Minecraft days, whatever the hell this is. Minecraft is no longer a small budget indie game anymore. Now it is the most sold game of all time, owned by one of the biggest corporations of all time, but at times it is easy to forget this when you look at the state of the game. But the solution I propose to these problems is simple. Make Minecraft 2. Yeah, people memed about that name, and honestly, the name is really bad. But the core concept of releasing a new Minecraft game is not that bad. We've had Minecraft Earth, which shut down. Well, we have Minecraft Story Mode, which shut down. Well, at least Minecraft Legends is still going strong, right? Uh, never mind. But still, my point still stands. The biggest problem for the player base right now is the lack of updates. A game like Minecraft needs new content to keep people, new people, coming back into it and keeping the game relevant. However, updates are coming in slow and are rather lackluster. We've been waiting a while for an update that just adds wolf armor, a new weapon, and a dungeon. Most of these things will most likely have minuscule impact on the core gameplay loop. I imagine you'll hop on a server with your friends, loot the dungeon, then it's back to the same old. Assuming you'll even encounter the dungeon since most newly added content is very hard to find and out of the way. And after you burn through all the new content, what will you do? Go back to looting for diamonds? Loot some bastions for items you already have? The endgame of Minecraft is mediocre at best. Sure, they tried extending it a little by making netherite armor harder to obtain, but there's still practically nothing after the ender dragon. There's only two bosses, some armor trims you can try and collect and just build. The same thing you do at the start. None of the dungeons have any rewards for you once you obtain diamond level gear, and enemies don't scale up either. There's no new resources for you to unlock or have to work with. You just become a god and keep fighting skeletons and zombies. You most likely have seen the Minecraft isn't fun anymore videos, and although this is a gross exaggeration, there's a core truth to it. Minecraft's getting a bit stale after such a long time. No wonder people turn to mods such as Better Than Wolves and other community created content. Now, we've seen the pits where modders can add 200 blocks in a week, whereas Mojang adds only one once a month. This comparison isn't entirely fair, but it does show there's a clear disparity between what could be done and what is being done. There are multiple reasons for this, but the main reason is that Minecraft is a genius work of art. Notch made something that was gold, lightning in a bottle, and Mojang doesn't want to ruin this. They want to alienate the formula by adding too much new stuff, so they can only tweak and change little things at a time. This is completely understandable, after all. Bloat is a big problem that Minecraft could face, and something Mojang would definitely want to avoid, but it does result in a game being rather lackluster on some fronts. Another reason the development for Minecraft is slow is Bedrock. Mojang has to develop for two versions at the same time, the Java version and the Bedrock version. Bedrock is written in entirely different code and has been built up from scratch, meaning that although at times it looks identical to Java version, developing on these two versions is vastly different. Things can't be simplified for one version and be ported over. Instead, they'll have to recreate it and make it intuitively on several different platforms such as mobile with controllers and keyboard and mouse. Look at the bundle an item that they just couldn't figure out how to make it work on mobile, and thus has been stalled. That, alongside bug testing for two different versions of Minecraft, stagnates what little development Mojang even is allowed to do without upheaving the Minecraft formula. But both of these problems could be solved by making Minecraft 2. First off, 
Minecraft 2 could be built from the ground up, so the entire team could focus on the same version. Any future content could be developed faster this way as well. And while they're at it, they can work on a modding API that was promised all the way back then, but now has become far too complicated to be added. Second, being labeled as Minecraft 2 prevents the old Minecraft from being bloated, and while still fulfilling the player's desire for new and exciting content. After all, they can work on Minecraft 2, even go wild with it and add some of the really fun stuff they've been teasing us for years, but still preserve the original Minecraft the way it is, always accessible for the player base to come back to. Combat can be completely reworked, and now the developers could actually get really creative with the things that they want. They can add all the rejects from the mob votes, add all the cool things from Minecraft Dungeons, and create an extensive endgame that stretches further than just beating the Ender Dragon. Let some of the people who used to make mods work their magic, or maybe even add some of the people that are already making some of the best mods in the community. Mojang could take some inspiration from other games such as Terraria. Mojang has been stuck with its current formula for a long while, and it seems that they themselves forgot what made Minecraft special in the first place. Creativity. Being able to create what you love. Just make Minecraft great again. <laughs> <laughs>